Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run through the weather warnings we have got rain warnings issued for parts of western Scotland over the next couple of days as we are going to see lots of heavy rain as we see this battle between Atlantic air and hot European air and it does look like the boundary between those two air masses the fresh Atlantic air and the heat is going to be positioned across the UK uh, and in the form of a weather front and that is going to produce quite a bit of rain uh, stationary rain over the next day or so so under that rain and to the west and north it is going to be cool it's going to be cold and it's going to be wet to the south and the east of that rain it's going to be pretty warm if not hot over the next 40 hours and we're already seeing that through this sunday afternoon we'll have a look at the latest ukv looking at all of that in detail it is going to turn fresher for all later in the week as eventually the fresher atlantic air will win out but it will take a good couple of days of battling and then we'll look at the into the longer range where we are looking at again very changeable conditions and the gfs six o'clock run today is producing exceptionally changeable conditions with some cooler conditions and some exceptionally hot conditions as well a little bit off the charts but still interesting nonetheless not got a lot of support and very unlikely to happen but we are seeing upper temperatures reaching around the 22 degree mark which this time of year would produce temperatures in between the 35 to maybe even as high as around 40 degrees i do think it has said very unlikely to happen uh, but when we saw 40 degrees a couple of years ago it was this sort of air mass that we did see and that is what the gfs is showing today so do remember if you enjoy the videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description now I said if we do start on the live radar you can see that split already appearing or very wet and cool in the north and the west further south and eastwards quite a lot drier sunnier and warmer if you uh, zoom in you can see some really quite heavy relief rainfall where the precipitation is heaviest over the mountains due to all the moisture getting pushed up uh, with the elevation condensing and producing a lot of rain uh, and that is what we're seeing at the moment some very high precipitation rates typical autumnal conditions here uh, unfortunately coming in august if you do put on the temperatures you'll be able to see that it is cool in the north and west i wouldn't say cold yet as the weather front is only pushing in but over the next sort of 24 hours i do think those temperatures will tumble away with more and more rain but then to the south and the east i'm calling this around half five you can see it is still really quite warm it's not particularly warm or hot today uh temperatures around the low 20s but the air mass is just building in and that is going to really take over through monday and tuesday where temperatures could as I said get towards uh hot conditions once again so high 20s do look at the weather warnings we have seen the weather warning across western scotland brought forward so it is into force very soon actually at 6 p.m so by the time this video is released it's pretty much coming into force and it expires 9 p.m on monday heavy rain with the potential for some disruption across parts of western scotland from sunday evening through to much of monday widely 20 to 40 millimeters maybe as much as 50 to 75 and also some very strong gusty winds medium likelihood low impact shouldn't be anything too severe because we have had a relatively dry last couple of weeks not bone dry but relatively dry and some warm conditions so it is not too much in terms of saturated ground but this is the sort of event during the winter months after weeks and months of rainfall that can cause significant flooding issues just fortunately we're in the driest time of the year where the soil is driest and the river levels are lowest as well so fortunately this sort of uh, con uh river sorry of moisture is occurring um during a decent time of the year um for not getting significant issues but there still could be some i have to stress that there is still could be some we're just not at the peak time for those issues right now now if you go over to the latest ukv you can see all that rain moving in through today and it will continue through this evening could see some breaks in it overnight uh, again we're not expecting it to go bone dry but just not quite as heavy as we do see a little bit of break and then we see more moisture rising through much of monday and there could be some more very heavy pulses of rain to the south and east of this line of precipitation it is dry and it is hot temperatures are set high 20s 
but eventually that weather front is sinking south and eastwards and will eventually push through on Tuesday. Now it's uncertain what the timings of this and how quickly it'll push the hot air uh, away, but Tuesday could still be warm. Uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, exactly what the temperatures are here. But and I do think the timings of this could move a little bit. So wouldn't take this as gospel yet. Um, but you can see the transition is through Tuesday. And they were all fresher for the west of the week. With that wind coming in from more of a westerly direction. You can see the precipitation coming more west to east here. Instead of sort of southwest to northeast. Uh, and that is because that high pressure has slipped away. So there's no resistance for these Atlantic flows. Just being more of a flat westerly unsettled conditions. Pushing in, still the heaviest rain in the west, inevitably being closer to the moisture across the Atlantic, but it will spread in quite a lot more uh, as well. If you look at the upper air temperatures, you can see the heat is building at the moment. It will really push in for much of Monday. It will hold on as we head into Tuesday. Uncertain exactly how long it will hold on to Tuesday, but definitely in the east on Tuesday, it could be warm or hot once again. And then we're all into fresher air masses for potentially another hot air mass there arise on Thursday into Friday. So yeah, turning fresher for the middle of the week, but looks like we could see another big wedge of heat developing later on in the week. Again, it will be very similar to what we're seeing now. A couple of days maybe of some warmth, temperatures back into the mid to high 20s before it'll drop off again. So we're not looking at heat wave conditions uh, or widespread, uh, amazing summery conditions, just temporary conditions as we do sit in this warm, hot slot of air. Do look at max temperatures we see during this afternoon. High teens, low 20s, nothing too amazing, and that is because we have fresh air in, getting replaced though during this evening. As we head into Monday, those temperatures will rise much higher, and you can see by the middle of the afternoon, temperatures could be low to mid 20s, maybe even slightly higher in a few spots. Again, I do think it will depend on the cloud amounts. As we head into Tuesday, it'll be another very warm day, especially in the east, where temperatures could again get it into the low to mid-20s. But again, it will depend on how quickly that weather front moves through. That weather front's a bit more delayed, could get into the high 20s. If it is uh, pushed through faster, like it does show here, then only the low 20s. As we head into Wednesday, it will be, again, decent, 23, 24, maybe not quite as humid as it's a fresher air mass pushing in. And then the same could be said for Thursday, again, looking at the low to mid-20s. Uh, and that is as that hot air mass returns. Um, so, yeah, seeing very up and down conditions. Um, uh, so, yeah, generally doesn't look too bad, apart from that rain in the north and the west. And as I said, Friday could be very warm indeed with that hot, if that hot air is still around. The one thing I must say is that we, I am noticing a lot of chopping and changing from the UKV. So yesterday we were seeing potentially temperatures topping 30 degrees through Monday and Tuesday. Today more like 25, 26. So do expect some deviation. Don't take what you're seeing here as gospel. Uh, if this is showing 26 degrees, it may be 22, it could be 28. Uh, and that is just the nature of this sort of pattern because these air masses are very hot, but they are upper air, air masses. It's not exactly what we're seeing the surface what we see at the surface does all depend on cloud amounts precipitation amounts wind directions uh, all of that can change subtly uh, and that can make a big difference to the surface conditions if we saw a big massive high pressure system then we would have a lot more certainty in those temperatures because small deviations wouldn't make too much of a difference but because of the very volatile uh, pattern here changeable pattern then very small differences could make massive changes to those temperatures and to the overall feel like temperature as well so it says as I said, don't take these temperatures as absolute gospel. The next 24 hours is unlikely to change, but beyond that, there could, as I said, still be a few degree deviations. But regardless, it's still looking pretty decent this week. Summary conditions still look possible at times, but there will be more cloud around, there will be more rain around, and the temperatures will be up and down. But as I said, if we have a look at the longer range, the GFS is producing something pretty insane as we head into the middle of the month. Now, we have a look at the six o'clock run as the midday run hasn't fully run yet. And to be honest, there's no point really looking at a run that only has seven days loaded. So have a look at the six o'clock run, which inevitably is the one that does go very hot. And you can see the westerly wind comes in for the middle of the week. And then we see another brief little ridge of high pressure later on in the week. Uh, again, very short notice. This wasn't really being modelled uh, yesterday or the day before. But now we're seeing a brief ridge of high pressure. And that could give hot conditions for a time later this week into the weekend. Four fresh conditions do push back in. And I do want to put the upper air temperatures on here. 
and we just run it back see slightly fresher for the middle of, of the week and then you see another warm air mass moving in towards the weekend could turn actually pretty hot there on the 11th and 12th of august the 20 degree hours firm's not too far away and then eventually we see another fresh air mass warmer air mass and then look what happens right towards the end of the run a big plume of heat and we do see the 20 degree isotherm moving in the, even the 23 degree isotherm that is insanely hot uh, and you'd see temperatures here well up into the low to mid 30s again if this happened mid july we could be looking more at high 30s or 40 degrees being though uh, middle or of august i think mid 30s would be the cap unless this did build in for a few days but look across northern france 38 39 degrees insane heat developing here we'll have to wait and see how it does develop but yeah the gfs six o'clock run is off the chart today with that air mass uh, again i don't know with the exact record upper air temperatures is across the uk but this isn't too far off. I think it's around the 23 to 25 degree mark. It's very difficult to say exactly because it's very difficult to record these in reality as you have to send up weather balloons. But the, the highest I've seen sort of modelled at short range was when we saw 40 degrees and it was around that 23 to 25 degree range. And we're kind of seeing that here. So yeah, pretty ridiculous air mass indeed. But you'll see from the ensembles in a minute that it is a little bit anomalous. Beyond that, though, the fresher air does move back in, and then out to 384 hours, again, changeable conditions. If you compare to the GM midnight run, again, we're seeing high pressure in control at the moment, fresh conditions coming over the next couple of days, and then we see another ridge of high pressure in later this week, and again, we can see some warmer air masses pushing in, 15 degree isotherm. So actually, for next weekend, it could actually be very nice indeed. We can't see this on the UKV yet, but here, temperatures into the mid to high 20s. So it does look like we will still see plenty of warm, hot conditions. It just won't be back-to-back -back days. There's going to be a few days of warm, hot weather, a few days of wetter, windier, uh, fresher weather, uh, and kind of chopping and changing. And it's because it is a generally a westerly flow with a bit of a south westerly tilt which is allowing these hot air mass to move in instead of more of a southerly flow or high pressure domination which is what you need really to see anything more sustained than around three or four days and then all the way to day out to day 10 still looking pretty decent if we compare to the ecmwf again fresh conditions coming over the next couple of days the warmth and heat high pressure returns next weekend maybe not in as much abundance uh, as you can see that the low pressure is a little bit stronger so the heat doesn't build in as much and the high pressure doesn't uh, take over uh, as quickly and then you can see it's towards day 10 again oscillating between fresher and warmer air masses quite a strong low pressure system there out in the north atlantic and again we've started to highlight this over the past few videos but we are going to be seeing those x tropical system starters come into the model output and that is what we're seeing here just coming in from northeast canada getting spun up in the atlantic into a pretty vicious Atlantic low, the sort of low pressure systems that we'd expect to see during the autumn or winter months. But instead, we're seeing it here during August. Again, it's not completely anomalous to see these sort of winds and low pressure systems pushing in when you see an extrable system. But the one thing I'll say is if we're talking about volatile modeling at the moment, um, extrable systems in the North Atlantic is pretty much the most volatile kind of thing we can see in these model outputs uh, as it does just chucks a massive spanner in the work because not only is it a very deep air of low pressure, but it normally has a very big hot core which completely muddles up all the air masses as well so we'll have to wait and see but yeah east and the f really throwing a bit of a spanner in the works there now if you finish by looking at the latest ensembles because it's very up and down over the next couple of weeks but plenty of hot runs appearing in the medium to longer term but still plenty of precipitation as well you see that gfs operational run there in the longer range which is insanely hot a good five to ten degrees above any other run at that point getting you can see it gets up to around the 23 it's maybe 23 and a half degree range so insanely hot there there are some other very hot runs sort of coming out in this ensemble output but nowhere near that hot pretty insane i must say probably won't happen but still interesting regardless if you compare just to the ecm though we have to finish off again very similar in terms of very up and down but more in more warm than cool here which is interesting we have seen that kind of 
pattern in the last few days from the ensembles where the GFS has been more around the average, whereas the Eastern GFS has been a bit more bullish with above average temperatures. So if you are looking for more warm, hot weather, then this is a positive, as this would definitely mean whenever it's dry, those temperatures would be getting up towards the mid-high 20s, as, as we use, use my sort of golden rule during the summer, which is looking at these upper air temperatures, you normally add about 15 degrees during the summer months. So when we're looking at Temp uh, upper air temperatures around the 12 degree mark we'd be looking at probably highs of around 27 degrees so here the ensemble means around the 13 14 degree mark so we probably would be looking at highs here again around the 28 or 29 degree mark and that's why to get up towards 40 degrees you need those upper air temperatures to get close to 25 degrees again it doesn't work 100 like that all the time it does deviate around but that's the kind of the general rule of thumb i use so looking pretty positive there indeed if we are looking uh, for something a bit hotter uh, and maybe even something a bit more sustained. We've been talking about changeable a lot, but the ensembles here look pretty sustained with those above average temperatures. Again, this is the southeast, uh, but if we do go to Glasgow, you'll be able to see it's probably a little bit of a different story. Yes, temperatures more towards average as expected. Some warmer spikes here or there, but more towards average. So it is going to be that continued northwest southeast split. But it does look like there will be plenty of summery weather coming over the next couple of weeks. But there will also be plenty of rain, especially in the north and west, uh, but could come southwards and eastwards at time, like the middle of this week. We'll have to wait and see exactly how it does play out. For example, that GFS operation run, whether we see anything completely out of this world like that. Uh, I do think it is unlikely, but it's not out of the picture. We'll have to wait and see, of course. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you again for another video soon.